three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am giving you guys a tutorial of my chalkboard that I am painting in my kitchen in the back hallway by my mudroom. So I'm just showing you the things that you need. I just used a charger that I'm not using to put my paint in and I'm using the chalkboard paint and just a small size roller. So I am now just putting on my first coat of paint. I went ahead and taped off my moldings because I did not want paint to get on them. So I, because I am such a messy painter, is anybody out there that's a messy painter? <laughs> I am such a messy painter. Um, I also have a pad down on the floor. That way I don't get paint on my wood floor that I just put down. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys what it's um, looking like so far um, it took me about four coats that I had to put on the wall um, because I didn't prime it I just painted it with just the chalkboard paint and I actually ran out of paint because I didn't realize I had so little um, until I started painting but nevertheless it turned out awesome and I'm just going to let you guys watch and I'll pop in and out um, throughout the video paintbrush and whatever it is that your paint is sitting on or sitting in um, I just used a, an old charger that I wasn't using anymore and you take the plastic bag and you put the plastic bag over it um, so that your paint won't dry out your paintbrush or roller it won't dry out from the paint from the air so yeah I'm just gonna put that in there and let it rest um, while my wall is drying and then I am going to come back and apply a Okay guys, so here I am applying my second coat and it's definitely going on a little bit more darker than um, the first coat. So like I said, I had to apply for about four coats and um, around the, the third coat I ran out of paint and I had to dig up like the paint that's in the bottom and I didn't realize that it was so um, like thick in the bottom I think because it was cold because I left it outside and so when I put it on the the wall it kind of started to um, take off the paint that was already on there but I'll show you in the next clip what it looks like Keep on staring at the pavement God knows who hurt Here is what 
I was trying to tell you guys that I started to put it on with a paintbrush and it was extremely thick and it started to take the paint off of the wall, which was just an epic fail. But I redeemed myself. <laughs> you guys will get to see how I redeemed myself. Um, I think it turned out great though. Keep on acting out like strangers. Scream out loud. I will go if nothing changes. So change your heart. Ooh. As you can see right here, it this is what happened. It totally took the paint off of the wall. So I tried going over it and everything and it's a little bit globby. So it was an epic fail, but it turned out pretty good. This is after my third coat. And here you see I'm just trying to take off all the um, blue tape and it just did not, the edges did not come out the way that I was expecting it to. It just was not looking good, you guys. And I didn't really like the edges, so I just decided that I am going to put some one by twos and frame it out, which actually made it look so much better. Even my husband loves it. He was just like, babe, this looks so good. At first he didn't know what I was trying to do, but the framing, I think, you know, brought it up a step and just made it look so good. I love it. I love the way that it turned out and I can't wait to show you guys the end results. Kingdom of lockdown You never give me any chance Watch me on my way looking like this is not what I had planned I really was not planning on adding the wooden border but it actually turned out it actually turned out so much better than my original idea I really was just going to keep it painted and you know that's it but because my edges kind of came off a bit I was just like I need to put something around it a border or something so I had these one by twos luckily outside and oh my goodness it looks amazing i love the way that it turned out i am not even going to paint the wood because it actually matches up with the wood frames that's in my hallway here um i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it i love the raw wood it looks great you guys oh, i'm so happy the way that it turned out i do still have to touch up like the inside of the chalkboard, but it looks so good. It came out absolutely incredible. So I am so happy with it, you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the result. It was an epic fail, and then it turned into a plus. So I love the way that it turned out. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And this is so easy though. It really was, really was easy to create. Um, my chalkboard paint kind of gotten, I guess, frozen and stuck to the bottom a little bit. And I don't know why, but I took it out and put it on this side and it came out in like globs of paint. So I'm going to have to sand that down and then just repaint it and give it another coat. But for the most part, it turned out really well. And I am excited about it. So stay tuned uh, for some decorating videos because y'all know I am definitely going to incorporate this into um, a decorating video and how it turns out. So 
yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching.